Hey guys, this is Preston from Xtrades, and today we are going to be talking about position sizing. Um, we're going to be talking about position sizing on uh, lotto plays, swing plays, and leaps. And I will basically be going into what the certain contract is, um, how to size your positions when playing them, and yeah, some other stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first we're going to be talking about lottos. Um, you can see right here, uh, this is a play by Kevin, um, the creator of X trades, you see stop loss lotto. So basically there's no stop loss on the contract. It's like all or nothing. This was on a Friday, um, that he bought this contract and then it expires on is that the following Tuesday. Oh, the following Wednesday. So that'll, it's basically like super short expiration, but with lottos, you're going to go fewer contracts, um, just because of you, you have no stop loss. So it's basically all or nothing. You could lose all your money, but it could also be a banger of a play, but you, with the added risk to it, you don't want to put up too much, um, capital to where if it's a L then you are basically sitting there like, Oh crap. Um, how do I make my money back? So you want small exposure, um, just so that if it's a banger, then you make a lot of money capital back. But if you lose then, Oh, well, like it is what it is. It was a cheap contract to begin with. Um, so lottos, you hold them for a shorter time frame, Like you can see with Kevin's play, uh, he swung it, but he can only hold it until Wednesday. So he'll probably sell, um, on the following Monday or Tuesday, something like that. Just if he gets the move that he wanted, um, he gets that upwards move cause it was a call. Um, then he will sell because he will make a good amount of money. Um, if it goes in the money and he gets the, the move that he wanted. Um, and at the same same rate, uh, if on Monday the market opens and we went down, uh, say we say spy dropped like two, three points, then the contracts will not not be worth a whole lot, maybe like 0 0.7, 0 0.6. And so that's where you have that risk and it's a short, shorter expiration, but it's high risk, high reward. Um, you could play like weeklies for this, or if it's spy, the contract they have contracts for like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So pretty much just it's always a weekly. Um, in in alerts, they'll say like, "Oh, this is a lotto," um, and it gets our bot actually tracks it as a lotto and says this position is risky and everything of that sort. So it's. They're awesome plays, but yeah, definitely fewer contracts and a uh, shorter hold. So I'm getting into swings. Um, you'll have more contracts because it's a more, the chart has a better setup and you've been waiting to get into this play. So you can see here with Kevin, he AMC play July 16th. So it's um, bought that on Friday with a week to go. And so he can swing it into the, into the next week has <clears throat> a stop loss and the contract is a little more expensive compared to uh, what we had here with the spy play. So you're going to have more contracts, but with your stop loss, you won't lose as much money per se. Um, when you stop out compared to if your lotto play went to, uh, zilch. So, they're less risky. Um, you can hold on to them longer because you can give it time to sort of play out. And so you'll have the more contracts than you would with a lotto size play. And you want to leave room to average down if you need to. Uh, Options Guru likes to do that a lot. Um, he'll buy fewer contracts at the start of the play and then give it time to develop. And if we go down a little bit, then he'll get into his full position size. So that's one, uh, one aspect you could think of when playing swings or leaps, which is what I'm going to get into next. 
Um, with swings, you want to go like medium term expiration. So one week out, two weeks out, um, or a monthly, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily matter, but yeah, whatever you have the capital for to play. And now, um, so leaps, these are, I would consider it like over two to three months, um, out. So here we have uh, Birkenstock with September with expiration in January and Angelic with um, August with expiration in January. And so these are going to be like your most expensive contracts that you buy. And so you'll have the most exposure with these contracts. So you buy um, l like less contracts than you would with like say weeklies or even lottos you buy like two or three of these contracts because they're so expensive but you have the most exposure out of any of these three uh, contract styles so you can have like three of these contracts but at the same time it's going to be eighteen hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars so you you can think about it from that perspective is that fewer not not fewer is better. It just depends on uh, your account size and how much you're willing to put forth. Because with these contracts, you are you've been waiting for a while to get into this. You're looking at like the weekly the weekly time frame chart or the daily time frame chart. Maybe the four hour, but if you're entering a leap like this, I would say like weekly or daily uh, candle time frame for your chart. And these are going to be your longest hold. You swing them for like a month or two months. Just you let the play develop because you won't be losing as much premium. And so you can you can hold it. There's less risk. Like if you're down, say, 15% for a month or two weeks, it doesn't necessarily matter. You can have those like diamond hands or hodl, as they say just because you have all this time on the contract and you should start worrying about it like with uh, Birkenstocks play here, like maybe in October, getting into November. And then with Angelic, uh, sa same thing because it was pretty much the same expiration. So that's, that's pretty much that. And then, so here we go. We have a summary, uh, just capping off the video, going over everything I talk, talked about. Um, with lottos, you go less exposure and they're the cheapest contract, but you still want to have, uh, the least, like the least exposure on those, because if they hit, you'll get a good return since it's like a short term, you're expecting a big move. And if they go, they go against your, the direction that you want, then you don't want to be losing too much capital. And so least exposure, uh, less contracts, but upside is fairly large and then the most contracts but medium exposure would be on swings and those are week out two weeks out or a monthly and that's pretty much like you have a stop loss set at like 20 percent or 15 percent and you're going to be swinging it for a couple days or a week and so you I've been looking at the chart for a minute, um, just looking at the four hour hourly and yeah, you're okay with getting a little more exposure in there. And then with leaps, these are the ones that will be three months out or however long, and you're going to have the most exposure here, but probably the fewest contracts. Cause if you're depending on your account size, having like three contracts or four contracts when they are like six to eight hundred dollars per leap depending on the ticker that you're playing then you will have the most exposure but the least contracts but it has room to grow and get into like the 1200 range and around that area so um that's contracts uh position sizing from preston and yeah have a good one